Leninists. Thank you for joining the All Marxist Leninist Union today and standing in solidarity with the native peoples protesting the Dakota Access Pipeline in the Dakotas. Today, we and our fellow students and other organizations across the country, such as the uh, Young Students for a New America and the American Party of Labor, stand in opposition to the capitalist encroachment on the Native American people's lands of the Dakotas. Every day, more and more Americans, and indeed people across the world, are awakening to the ferociously brutal battle unfolding in North Dakota around the construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline. The ongoing construction of the pipeline directly threatens the entire clean water supply of the nearby Standing Rock Res Indian Reservation, which houses mainly th many thousands of the indigenous peoples of the Dakotas, and further threatens the very essence and function of their way of life. We must in every way possible support the indigenous Sioux people in their arduous struggle to defend their homeland against encroaching paramilitary thugs on the payroll of the capitalist class. The struggle for a new America is a war against big oil and the gangsters of the oil cartel who profit from destroying both the environment and the lives of working people. The First Nations peoples are a clear ally of the working families of Illinois, Michigan, and Ohio who have experienced such destitution and exploitation at the hands of, Ameri of the American billionaire class. An alliance of colonized and oppressed peoples with the American working class is essential on the road to American rebirth. We call for the seizure of this country's oil from the criminals in ExxonMobil, Shell, Chevron, and British Petroleum, and its conversion into the common property of working people and their organizations. No other groups understand the necessity for self-determination and autonomy better than the indigenous peoples of the United States. We urge American working families, students, and people of all backgrounds to understand the indigenous peoples, that the indigenous peoples of the Americas are allies and to support their demands for independence from the U.S. government and recognized territorial integrity. The indigenous American peoples constitute oppressed nations within the borders of the United States. They should not be forced to pay taxes to an oppressive federal government that doesn't so much as recognize the right to, their right to clean drinking water. Rather, the wealthy oil monopolists should be forced to pay reparations to the native peoples as well as as well as all of those whose lives have been destroyed by their greed. American youth must fight for peace, jobs, democracy, and equality. Students, for y for youth and students and Youth for a New America stands with Standing Rock. Self-determination for all oppressed peoples.